So here we have a triangle, ABC, and there's a perpendicular line being drawn halfway along AC, perpendicular to AC. And we're asked to calculate the length of this side, BC. Give our answer correct to one decimal place. And it, it looks like a cosine rule problem. If we forget about this line ED, we have a large triangle ABC where we know the length of this side, it's 4 centimetres plus 6 centimetres, and we also know the length of this side, 3 centimetres plus 3 centimetres. And we're asked to find the side opposite angle A. And we know the two sides that surround angle A. Now that's a classic cosine formula problem. Let's look at the formula that you're given in the exam. Here it is, cosine rule. A squared equals B squared plus C squared minus 2BC cos A. So let's label the sides, there's angle A, little a is opposite that, here's angle C, little c is opposite that, here's angle B, little b is opposite that, and there's A, and there's B, let's put them all in red so that we can see them. And this formula tells us we can find a squared by taking b squared, which we know, c squared, which we'll know, minus twice b times c times the cosine of angle a. So we know everything here apart from angle a. That's the one thing we don't know. However, we do know it's in a right angle triangle. So in triangle ADE, let's just draw a sketch of that, right angle triangle, there's A, there's E, and there's D. We know the hypotenuse is 4 centimetres, and that this shorter side is 3 centimetres. And it's this angle here that we're trying to find. Now that's the adjacent that we know, and the hypotenuse. And that would be the cosine. The cosine of angle A DAE, this angle here, is equal to adjacent 3 over hypotenuse 4. Cosines adjacent over hypotenuse. Remember that from your SOCAR tour. So we can find out angle DAE, it's the angle whose cosine is 3 quarters, and on the calculator, just making sure that we have degrees on the display. My calculator, it's arc cos, a cos, yours it might be cos minus one, you'll get it by shift cosine. You'll know your calculator, you do what's necessary in your calculator, but mine, this is the angle whose cosine is, that's that button there. So if I press that, the angle whose cosine is, three quarters, three divided by four, is equal to, and I get 41.409 and so on. So that's 41.409 and so on. We'll round off that value later. So there's the first thing. We know this is 41. Point four zero nine and so on degrees. So let's now in triangle ABC, that's the large triangle which is not right angle, let's use the cosine rule. So A squared, B squared plus C squared minus 2BC cosine of A. 
and we now know everything on the right hand side. We know little b is 6, so that's 6 squared. Little c is 10, that's 10 squared. Minus 2 times 6 times 10 times the cosine, and we've just worked that out, cosine of that angle. Now, you might suddenly realise I didn't need to work this out because there is the cosine of that angle. It's three quarters. So this wasn't necessary. I know that now. Didn't know that at the time. Hadn't thought that far ahead. So this is going to be somewhat easier. There's 36 plus 100 minus 2 sixes of 12. 10 times 12 is 120 and we'll get 3 quarters 120. Now you could do all this on your calculator. I'll just do it in my head just now. There's 136. 1 quarter of 120 is 30. 3 times 30 is 90. So it's 136 minus 90 which leaves me with 46. Now that's a squared, therefore a will be the square root of 46, and that I think we need a calculator for. So the square root of 46, 6.78 and so on. So that equals to 6.782 and so on. It asks us to give an answer correct to one decimal place. So BC is approximately 6.8 centimetres as a measurement, and that's to one decimal place.